Uh, hello, as, as, thank you, Tim. Um, I'm Ben. I work with Vodafone, and um, this is probably our first foray into consultancy with the university, certainly in my time, and I've been there 10 years. Um, I do feel slight, slight, a slight fraud. Um, we designed this specific, well, we came up with the idea around this specifically to highlight some of the activity we're doing for our customers. But what we wanted to do was um, take what we thought was a slightly quirky idea and actually bring it into real life. So I will, with no um, ashamedness, run you through very briefly what we tried to do and then run you through at the end why I think that the consultancy with Kenneth was so productive, particularly for us. So, this summer we ran a series of festivals for our customers. We sponsored 11 festivals, we offered them tickets to those festivals early, we gave them the opportunity to have special experiences when they were there, we provided a truck that charged 2,000 phones an hour for them, because the biggest thing about festivals nowadays is in 10 years ago you went to festivals to get away from stuff, nowadays you go to festivals to stay in contact, and no one ever has any phone batteries. We provided a number of other things, but what we didn't have was an easy way of highlighting, particularly in the media, that we were firstly involved in this area, and secondly, that we were doing something for customers that uh, no other network was doing. So we came up with the idea that we would have a brolly. It always rains at festivals, but we would have a brolly that boosted your signal and charged your phone. That was about as far as we got. Um, and we slightly struggled. We thought, we can draw a pretty picture of this and we can uh, pretend it works. Mm -hmm. We can speak to the media and ask them to write nice things about us, but we'll sort of pretend it works. Or we can go and speak to someone who could actually make this a reality. So, working with an agency I have called Freud, we went to approach Kenneth and asked him to really bring what we had to some form of reality. Uh, within an hour, Kenneth has responded with diagrams of exactly how it would work, with ideas of specs, with ideas of designs, with um, rough ideas of weight, uh, and a rough idea of how much it was going to cost us. And I should say it was pretty good value. Um, he says, looking, right, so this is Kenneth. We, um, we, we did a lot of work with Kenneth. Um, once he developed everything, we um, run a blog on the site, and we wanted to explain exactly what the thought process was and why we'd engage with UCL. Uh, so Kenneth uh, became a model for the day, and really, uh, with his students, outlined exactly how the technology that he um, integrated very seamlessly into an umbrella uh, worked. I would say that the process has been amazingly pleasant. Um, the creativity and the approach to effectively what, which was a, what we thought was a, was a bit of fun initially um, was, was amazing and actually the, res the result that we got was astounding um, to the point that most media would not believe that this worked and there have been many products around that have never worked, I mean concepts. This worked brilliantly, did exactly what it was supposed to do um, and as a result we generated a huge amount of uh, interest and a huge amount of brand association. So this was the brolly, again more lifestyle shots um, done. Very simple concept, um, very well engineered, manufactured on site um, so that we could make minor changes as we were going along. Everything was done overnight. We worked with Kenneth and he did all the silk screens printing. He really, there wasn't anything that was a problem. Uh, and Kenneth, even in his blog, talked about the fact that he likes to encourage his students not only to understand the theory behind something, but actually manufacture it and put it into practice. Because if you can do that, then you're much better equipped for the type of business I work in. And this is the sort of coverage we got. I mean, this is nothing compared to Kenneth's appearance on ABC News in the US, um, many regional radio stations, and various other things. But I particularly like the ABC News. Um, so, what did we get out of the consultancy? Uh, we certainly got a very fresh, fresh way of looking at something, and actually a really good way of challenging our own perceptions of what was possible and what wasn't. Um, he really gave us some perspectives on what we could and couldn't do. Um, I then had many uh, interesting conversations with the people internally ab around um, 
uh, EMF radiation and exclusion zones and all sorts of things that I had no concept of. Um, but Kenneth very uh, smoothly guided us through that. Uh, because you remember that Vodafone is a business of 10,000 people in the UK. Sorry, 4,000 people in the UK and 10,000 people working within uh, the group. And we don't know everything. And it's sometimes very difficult to get to the people you need to know. Kenneth gave us a really alternative perspective to look at things. Um, he took a very vague thought and made it a real true reality very, very quickly, actually, uh, and set us on a course that meant that there was no toing and froing um, halfway through the project. There was no real change in design, a few minor amendments, but nothing major. Uh, he was incredibly collaborative. Um, we went to see him. He outlined what the plans were. We outlined what our real objectives were, and um, it couldn't have been smoother. And it came on time. Now, for those of you who are working in business, um, particularly with large business, something arriving when they say it says it's going to is, is a revelation. And um, I was very, very, very pleased. Um, but the biggest thing that UCR really offered to us was that credible endorsement, that, that perception and the reality that because we had been working with a highly respected university, that there was some sense in what we were doing as opposed to effectively what a gimmick was. Um, and Kenneth was very good at um, explaining things to the benefit of UCL, admittedly, but explaining things in a way that um, gave us that real foundation in reality. We have subsequently had a number of meetings on where this concept could be developed. Um, the Broly in itself was a gimmick. Kenneth was very quick to see how this technology that he had implemented could be developed further. Um, we asked it in conversations around uh, various social enterprises, um, and we will see where they go to. But the idea of a, a parasol or some sort of a cover which contains flexible solar panels and contains a signal booster is incredibly appealing for some of our emerging markets where the uh, electricity grid isn't quite what we have here. And actually it provided great value for money. Um, I've worked with many independent companies and I've worked with one university and I have to say that working with the university was the easiest piece of work I've done. It was the most effective piece of work I've done and it was the best value for money I've, I've, I've done, um, certainly in the last 10 years. So that's what I believe we got out of consultancy. Um, I would wholeheartedly endorse working with uh, UCL or another university in the future. In fact, we may well be. I know that Kenneth and I have a conversation to have at some point in the very near future around some other ideas he's had. Um, but we, were, we are very pleased with the results and very pleased to be working with UCL. Thank you.